Now, Tiger Woods is telling his side of the story after being arrested on suspicion of DUI. Tonight, he insists he was not drinking. Okay, Nine's Rachel Kim is live in Malibu tonight with late breaking details and reaction. Rachel. Jeff and Susie, Tiger Woods was apologetic and said he'd do everything in his power to make sure this doesn't happen again. But one wellness and addiction expert we spoke to here in Malibu tonight said that he hopes this incident will be beneficial to everyone. In this mugshot from Florida, Tiger Woods is grim and unshaven after he was arrested on suspicion of DUI early Monday morning. By Monday night, the 14-time major champion released a statement taking full responsibility for his actions. He said, I want the public to know that alcohol was not involved. What happened was an unexpected reaction to prescribed medications. I didn't realize the mix of medications had affected me so strongly. I'm glad he's making the statement about it now so that hopefully other people will uh, make the decision not to drive before they get behind the wheel. Dr. David Barron is the executive director of the UCLA Ash Center for Student Health and Wellness and is also an addiction expert. He hopes the golf star's arrest will get the message across that DUI doesn't necessarily mean alcohol. There are several prescription medication categories that can impair you. Opioids are sedating. Just by they are said they they have a, they have sedating properties and they distort your judgment your perception of the world. Woods is now recovering after undergoing a fourth back surgery. He recently said he was feeling better. Dr. Barron wants to point out that over-the-counter medicines can also be dangerous. These things have um, antihistamines in them, which commonly can cause drowsiness and sort of a mild heavy-headedness, and they absolutely can impair your ability to drive safely. You may have noticed these digital signs Caltrans put up on our freeways. Dr. Barron believes they are good reminders for everyone. It's important, I think, that law enforcement is strict about this and that society it doesn't come to be complacent about it. Dr. Barron also believes marijuana can be equally impairing behind the wheel. He hopes this incident will make people think about that. Back to you in the studio. Well, Rachel, thank you.